like this give the name to the same 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 on the upper side a b c d e f g h i j k and l we have given the nomenclature on both the side now a1 as radius a1 as radius focus point as center and marking arc on both the sides on the line I need to extend the lines F to B F as center marking an arc 2 to C F as center marking an arc 3 to D arc on both the side most of the student many time do the mistake that they are just taking the same point as center for they are taking radius as 4 to e and marking from 4 as uh, 4 as center only five to f f as center the center f is the common 6 to G center is again F you can see gradually this portion coming down cause eccentricity ratio is 2 by 3 it's less than 1 that's why it's coming down if the eccentricity ratio has been more than 1 then it would have taken the shape of the hyperbola nine to J ten to K when this arc tangentially come to that point only which means that your ellipse is completely perfect starting from this point vertex point V we have got all the arcs we need to join those arc using the smooth curve we'll use the French curve or you can draw manually also like this join the arc with very smooth curve Join those arc with very smooth curve and you have traced your ellipse. So this is how you can draw an ellipse using focus directrix method. 
give the nomenclature to the same give the nomenclature to the same p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 on another side let's give by dash p2 dash p3 dash p4 dash p5 dash p6 dash p7 dash accordingly we have given the nomenclature to the same this is the only method in which you don't have the minor axis and major axis this ellipse has been drawn using the distance between the focus from the directrix only let's look at it from starting itself in the problem it has been given that distance of focus is 50 mm eccentricity ratio is 2 by 3 now when this comes the method is called focus directrix method using this method you can draw all three curves you can draw ellipse hyperbola and parabola the only change would be in this eccentricity ratio if it is ellipse then it would be less than 1 if it is hyperbola then it would be greater than 1 and if it is parabola then it is equal to 1 now when we look at our problem it is clearly seen that this is less than 1 so from the starting itself we knew that this curve traced would be ellipse now first of all draw a d1 d2 vertical line which is called directrix the distance or length could be any anything you can choose it very randomly on d1 d2 line mark up random point o o is our main focus now from point number o we have drawn a perpendicular line to d1 and d2 on that line we have marked point number f at 50 mm distance which has been clearly given now as the eccentricity ratio is given as 2 by 3 we have just summed it 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 so that's why I have taken the 50 into 5 equal division which means that 10 mm each now the upper portion of this eccentricity ratio denotes the how many division we should further for the vertex point eccentricity ratio says 2 so I have moved 2 point 1 and 2 we have marked point as V V means vertex point I have drawn a vertical line from the vertex point taking V as center VF as radius I have drawn a semicircle this semicircle intersect with the vertical line I've named that point as Q I've drawn a line of OQ extended now to draw ellipse I require additional at least 9-10 points the, this distance between two points is 10 mm so after F I have marked 10 11 point at 10 mm distance from each I have drawn vertical lines which touches to the this incline OQ extended lines I have given the nomenclature over here 1 to 11 same way those li vertical line where it intersect with this inclined OQ extended I have given the nomenclature A B C D till L now here comes the interesting part taking 1 A as center F as radius mark arc on both side F as center F B as radius 
mark center arc 2c as radius f as center mark an arc on both side and gradually when you come to the point number 10 you take 10k as radius and when you take f as center this final arc would be exactly tangent to that line which means that our ellipse is complete now mark the arc join those arc with the smooth curve and you can you get your desired ellipse now when you want to draw a normal and tangent to the same what you need to do you just need to do only one thing mark any point at random distance joining to the directrix line from its vertical this would be its tangent and this would be its normal normal means that perpendicular line to the tangent and tangent means that a line which touches to the curve only at one point so this is how you can draw normal and tangent to the curve as well in this method only you can draw hyperbola as well how you can draw hyperbola you can draw hyperbola just by shifting the vertex point draw a d1 d2 line will keep everything same marking and point o a drawn a perpendicular line o now the distance from focus is 50 mm let's mark it as point number f only change would be in this over here eccentricity would be greater than 1 so for greater than 1 it comes as 3 by 2 again total sum of this comes around 5 Uh, mark the point one, two, three, four, and five. The upper portion shows the vertex. How many divisions is far from the point number F? One, two, and three. Here is our vertex point. From this vertex point, we need to draw a vertical line. V as center. vf as radius draw a semi circle name that point as q draw a line draw vertical lines from each portion as hyperbola is never going to touch to its node we just need to draw it till the focus point only let's give nomenclature as 1 2 a and b a1 as center f as radius to be as radius 
एन एफ एस सेंटर एंड एफ एस सेंटर एफ सी एज रेडियस मार्किंग एन आर्क इज द सेम प्लेस ओनली थ्री आर्क्स पासिंग थ्रू वट एक्स पॉइंट so this is how you can draw and this curve is never going to touch to its node so this is how you can draw a hyperbola using the same focus directrix method only the eccentricity ratio would be changed please make sure that you look at it eccentricity ratio very carefully if it is greater than 1 then it would be hyperbola and if it is less than 1 then it would be ellipse don't forget to sum up the eccentricity ratio if it is given as 2 by 3 then sum up 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and upper portion of this eccentricity ratio shows the distance of vertex means how many points it is far from the vertex uh, focus point here in the ellipse we have seen that eccentricity ratio is 2 by 3 which means that we have taken vertex point only two points far from this focus point whereas in the hyperbola we have taken 3 by 2 we have taken the vertex point three points away from this focus point and this is how we have traced the curve so please make sure that you are doing the right method to draw this focus directrix we are having a next problem in this problem it is a very basic level of problem with use of the sketch we need to explain the type of the lines first of all before starting to any any sort of sketch is let's enlist the type of line which are very useful in the engineering drawing which lines are very much important in this engineering